Hello guys, welcome back to a new technology moment today dedicated to one or several devices that may be of great help for those needing to interconnect buildings wirelessly, implementing IP camera deployment to buildings or locations where there is no possibility to interconnect them using fiber optics, and many more applications, of course, depending on your needs in terms of networking. A lot of followers have asked in the past how to bring Wi-Fi, voice over IP, or video surveillance to a very close by building garage, workshop, barn, the list is actually endless in terms of communications to remote locations. That is the main reason why today we're going to be talking about that experience that we had with this great kit, the EAP211 from TP-Link that works all by itself or linked to the enterprise Omega controller in a much bigger company scenario. For all intents and purposes, deploying a wireless bridge is just like laying a wire that will have a maximum distance of one kilometer and a top speed of about 500 to 600 megabit per second. So what we'll see in this video, first, what do we receive in the box when we get one of these EAP211 bridge kits, considerations and main specifications that are worth mentioning for this unit, how to set it up and planning your deployment scenarios, and finally, our conclusions and recommendations for the first stage of your wireless bridge deployment. Spoiler alert, this model for one kilometer and 70 degree horizontal angle does what it says, and if you read carefully its capabilities, may be suitable for much more powerful deployments involving several units of it. So right to the point, what you'll receive in the box, very well packaged, as it is usual from the brand, is the quick installation guide. You'll see how simple it is power cables, passive PoE injectors, this is very important, uh, zip ties for quick pole mounting, and the main and client units of the bridge. We liked so much its features that we decided to approach this device into two separate videos. Okay, so here the main aspects that you may like about these units and that are worth mentioning. You will not just get one port on each end of the bridge. Each of these devices feature a three port switch, one port used for the PoE injector or upstream your network, and the other two available to connect to the network or client devices at both ends. No additional switches and messy wiring. It provides you with a 70 degree angle coverage, which makes it ideal for multiple clients connected to it. We actually tested such degree of sensitivity and it worked very good. It was surprising, as you'll see in our next video. You can choose to use the 12 volt input, making it fantastic for several solar panel solutions in remote locations. And if you're in a hurry to set it up and have a not too distant bridge up to one kilometer, 0.62 miles, up and running in no time, these are gonna be your devices as they come pre-configured and ready to use. And finally, and not less important, the Wi-Fi signal is going to be consolidated at both ends, letting you use that network present and available for a few Wi-Fi clients, giving you the impression of roaming, but not a network to be used as your main Wi-Fi. This is very important, as it may lead you to think that you can use that network with your main equipment at both ends. Uh, and the main reason for that is that they share the same radio, so it will severely affect the performance of the bridge if you choose to use them. So if you wish to deploy Wi-Fi at both your locations, you can use separate hardware like an access point at each location without affecting the link between them. Even better if they are OMATA compatible as you can centralize management. As it is an 802.11 AC Wi-Fi 5 adapter, you should expect link speeds above 800 megabit per second. Let's remember those are link speeds and not real data transfer speeds. Uh, we've seen this in all Wi-Fi standards in previous videos. Optimal speeds at not too distant places should be about 500 megabit per second, but we'll cover that in our next video. As we just said, uh, if you're in a hurry and need a quick bridge, just plug them and you'll be done. Let me show you. So right here, uh, the main access point and the client access point will connect the main network to this access point, then one of the ports of this access point to this laptop, and we'll see what happens. So let's connect main network, power over ethernet to the first port of the main access point, and connect to the outlet. We'll just let it boot. To the client AP, same thing, power to the injector, PoE to the PoE port, network cable to the laptop. In a few seconds, link is up, full signal, and the laptop that I connected to any port of the built-in switch will gain instant access to the network. Yes, 
that simple, out of the box, pre-configured bridge. Um, by the way, this is my ISP's networking speed. This is not the top speed of this link. Once you're done testing and configuring your equipment, you can go ahead and execute two simple steps. First, secure your devices by logging to each of their interfaces and you'll be asked a couple questions. Even to create a wireless connection in case that you want to have direct Wi-Fi access to the network using these access points. And you'll see that right after you do that, even if you created a different network on each access point, that network will be consolidated into one, the one configured in the main access point. And second, update the firmware of the devices to the latest version. As you can see right here in this case, as stated by the manufacturer's web page, it needed to be done in two simple steps, as there was no direct update to the latest firmware. You'll then know that you'll have a completely secured bridge deployed. This could very well be used for voice over IP network, browsing database access, or IP camera deployment. I mean, networking access. If you have in your network an Omata network controller up and running, this is what you'll see from their interface. This means that you'll be able to adopt them, uh, a process that we'll cover in our next video, along with other tips and aspects to highlight about these devices. As for our conclusions and recommendations, not only about how simple deploying a networking bridge is, uh, you just witnessed it could not get any easier. These devices have been carefully engineered, so anybody without real tech expertise not only will have access to this technology, but will, in no time, create a bridge and link two separate buildings. And not only that, you'll be able to consolidate the internal Wi-Fi into one, making it simple for everybody to use. As for recommendations, there are just a few. First of all, even if in a hurry, you cannot miss to set the admin passwords of your access points. Same thing for your SSIDs. Second, do not forget to upgrade the firmware of the units as it may be addressing performance as well as security issues that are important. And finally, and even though protected by a 60 kV surge protection, many of you may know that such protections are worthless if your devices are not properly grounded. You can decide to rely on your shielded cables, or even better, even if having all your networking equipment grounded and even protected by specialized hardware, uh, directly ground the units. I want to emphasize on this, as it could not be more critical in equipment that is exposed above structures. In our next video, deployment of the unit, real-life example, what we observed, our recommendations, and our final conclusions about these great devices. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Remember that the idea for us is to show you the experience that we had with this extraordinary bridge. And even though Wi-Fi bridges have been in the market for a while, their importance seems to have grown over time. And this particular unit may be exactly what you were looking for. Also, if you'd like to show your immense support and help us keep creating all this content, all you need to do is like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.